few know what it means to be reborn a sense -Aid. A what? So, you've already finished Sense8, the Netflix series from the minds of Matrix creators the Wachowskis. Here are our picks of what to try next. Like Sense8, Heroes is about a group of strangers around the world who realize they're all connected by strange powers. Heroes mixes comic book abilities with absorbing drama, and while ratings certainly dropped over its initial four-year run, there's plenty to love about the show's earlier seasons. Save the cheerleader, save the world! Sense8 co-creator J. Michael Straczynski is perhaps best known for creating Babylon 5, the cerebral sci-fi TV series about disparate alien races coming together and the conflict that creates. Despite some decidedly vintage visuals, this is a show with plenty to say and deals with war, religion and substance abuse, among other themes. If you liked Sense8's big ideas about tearing through the fabric of reality but found the show sometimes felt painfully slow, Luc Besson's Lucy is your remedy. Starring Scarlett Johansson as a woman who achieves seemingly limitless power as her brain's potential is unlocked, this surreal, fast-moving action flick polarized critics. But if you enjoy the Wachowskis' own brand of weirdness, you might just love Lucy. Canadian drama Orphan Black is another sci-fi series with an ensemble cast, but this time all played by one person, the talented Tatiana Maslany. This tale of cloning and conspiracy is still running and has plenty of enthusiastic fans, so is well worth checking out. How many of us are there? Finally, if you want something a bit lighter or suitable for the whole family, try the Wachowskis' 2008 film Speed Racer. Critics didn't have much time for this saturated, hyperactive adaptation of a classic cartoon, but it's an incredible visual ride that's considered by some to be a cult hit. Can you think of any other shows that would be perfect for fans of Sense8? Let us know and happy viewing!